Okay, so we just listened to the Tesla Q2 2019 financial results and Q&A webcast, and David has something to say. OMG, WTF, no FSD in the EU? What the freak, by the way, okay, for all you dirty-minded people out there, um, but yeah, WTF. This is the first I've heard of it, but you know we're not in Europe, so maybe yeah. these maybe our European viewers have heard of this before. But we were under the impression that you know Tesla has offered full self-driving since the end of 2016 when they first added Autopilot 2 uh, hardware in mm -hmm. October 2016, and you know they've taken it off the market, put it back on the market multiple times since 2016. But this is the first that I have heard. Is this the first you've heard that they won't be able to offer it in the EU? Asterix yet yet. So in the call at roughly 56 minutes and 20 seconds, because it's not like we were counting or anything, um, there's a question from RBC Capital Markets about being able to offer the FSD suite that they're offering in the US, in China, and even Europe. And Elon actually answers that question saying, we expect to be able to offer full self-driving actually everywhere except EU because there's just some committee rules that were put in place years ago that need to be changed. It's not from a technical standpoint, so that's good. It's very doable, but we just need to work through the regulatory committees to get the regulatory approvals and rules changed. It'll just take a bit longer than other places, but I think we'll see a lot of pressure from our customers in Europe, you, to have these rules changed so they have access to the FSD. And I think that at the end of the day, the regulators will have to answer to the public. So I think that's just a temporary thing and quite specific to EU rules. We were just not present really when those rules were drafted. So that's what got put in place. They make a ton of sense, but we're just working through the process to change them. Yeah, so I don't think it's hardware related because he, yeah. he says that it's doable. So that means mm -hmm. that it would have to be possible with the existing hardware right. and just have some software tweaks and we know we've seen recently where they had they have updated uh, autopilot in the eu so that it can't do certain curves at certain speeds yeah and some other changes which were initially allowed and they had to pull back on those in the eu so it might be that it was brought to the attention that the current form of autopilot while it it's a certain level and it, that it wasn't allowed based upon those current regulations so they're having to pull back and they're trying to get those regulations changed to allow the car to actually drive yeah so it'll be interesting to see how it happens i don't know though is this going to cause like another class action lawsuit because there was a class action lawsuit when enhanced autopilot came out yeah. And we opted to not get involved in that. That's true. In the United because, States. In the United States. Yeah, in the United States. Because, in my mind, going to help anything to get $75 I think from the company. And I don't want to rob them of money. And depending on the car, it could have been up to $200-something. And we would have gotten yeah. $200 back for a couple of the cars. But it's like it's only a couple hundred dollars. And we don't we don't need it in this case. We, we know that they're going to come out with... They yeah. did They did come out. That was for Enhanced Autopilot. They yes. did come out with that. And it does a great job. And, yeah, it did take a little longer but i never expected it to be out by the end of 2016 right right right. but this is fsd that they couldn't i mean technically they don't have any full self-driving features not yet so i guess that kind of helps the situation hopefully behind the scenes tesla is working very hard on these regulations yeah. so that when they can start pushing fsd features our european friends won't be that far behind hopefully they'll be able to get them to run there and as, as we saw they've already pulled back on some of the features yeah. that they did have there and i was reading up earlier trying to see what some of the other restrictions are and it seems like there might be some restrictions on like the allowed speed that full self-driving is supposed to be able to handle yeah and i don't know if the number is still correct but i saw a number of 130 kilometers per second or excuse me 130 that'd be oh really my god fast. that would be really <laughs> fast. Be fast 130 kilometers per hour which is about yeah. 80 miles per hour and we know that at least in the united states auto steer is available up to 90 miles per hour yeah. And and I don't know, did they increase that recently or is it still 90? It's still 90, but they said when they were talking about putting a Model 3 in the Boring Company tunnel, uh, someone okay. said that it'll be bumped up to 125 sometime Eventually. soon. Okay, so so there's restrictions like that. So the, the number was 130, that was from a few years ago. Yeah. I don't know if that number is still 130. I haven't found any newer one. Can any of our European friends comment down below? That'd be great. Do any of our viewers know what some of these other restrictions might be? And yeah. have you noticed anything else, any other features that you originally had, which have since been taken away, or that you've maybe seen on videos or, that we've done for autopilot in the United States? 
States, are you missing some of those features still in the EU? Because we definitely like to hear back. Or even in the rest of the world, like yeah. in, in China, in uh, Australia, New Zealand, let us know what features we have, what you might have. Because I know even in some countries, they don't have summon, that yeah. they can't summon their car. Uh, I think that's in Canada still. Uh, or at least for the longest time, they didn't have that ability in Canada. You know what I think this calls for? A European road trip. European road trip. Well, why not? Why not? Why stop at Europe? Well, of course, but we'll start in Europe and maybe we'll jump to Australia and chi China. I oh, can't talk about that much. Yeah. Do autopilot in all the different countries. Oh, that'd be a good, good, good idea. Okay, so maybe coming soon. So definitely hit that thumbs up if you want to see that because that sounds like an expensive video, yeah. but doable. Um, so yeah, it's interesting to hear them say though that FSD is kind of just on hold temporarily until they yeah. can get some regulations changed. And did you guys know this already? Did, or, yeah. I don't know, as I know a lot about Tesla, I know I follow every day the news, and this is the first I heard about this, so yeah. it's possible I totally missed it in a previous call, but I haven't seen anybody else discussing this either, so it's either everybody already knew it, or nobody knew it, and they didn't pay any attention to it in the call yesterday. So it'd be interesting too, who came up with these rules, like if it was just the regulators were a lot of the uh, European car manufacturers involved were they at these meetings yeah. giving their input is it again we think it's just software issues at this time and not hardware based but it'd be interesting if somebody could uh, you know again provide us some more input on those if you are an expert yeah if you live in Europe and you know a lot about this maybe you've done digging on your own put some links down below or comment and we can talk about it down there that'd be good to know we need a European correspondent S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Whatever that was. Anyway, that's basically it for this one. Just kind of wanted to talk about this because it's something that neither one of us were familiar with. Again, maybe it went over our heads. This whole time. Peut-être. Je ne sais pas. What he said again. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, definitely check them out. All linked down below. Using code Tesla Inventory, all one word, will get you 15% off your first order. All kinds of really cool accessories that we have in literally every single car. Model 3 specifically, though, the center console wrap, because I hate that piano black, as well as the matte screen protector. All great options. So definitely check them out. As always, though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Comment down below to what your take is on this. Hopefully, maybe somebody knows a little bit more and we can talk about it down there. But definitely click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. OMG, WTF, no FSD in the EE. <laughs> oh my God, that was so um, perfect. I almost though. got it. Okay, okay, okay.